yes, my name is uh, Michael Harris. I'm the executive director for the Michigan Paralyzed Veterans of America. We're located in Novi, Michigan. Uh, we've been in existence now for 50 years. Uh, we're a congressionally chartered veteran service organization. Our members have a spinal cord injury and or a spinal cord disease, which uh, requires them to be dependent on the use of a wheelchair for uh, mobility. We advocate uh, for our members to make sure they get the benefits that they're entitled to. Uh, we also help veterans who don't have a spinal cord injury or a spinal cord disease, so we represent all veterans. What really se separates us from the other veteran service organizations is our advocacy uh, work. Uh, because we are in wheelchairs, we uh, uh, work to try and uh, educate uh, the business community and municipalities about making their facilities barrier free so we can independently access uh, a facility without encountering architectural barriers. Uh, we're, we're very heavy into sports and recreation. It, we we see, see it as being a critical need for our members to get out there, regain their self-esteem, and realize that they can compete at a high level with a disability. And so it's been a great source for, for our members. The other thing that we're really heavily involved with uh, now is uh, the uh, refueling program, which uh, for, for people with disabilities, a lot of times we uh, have difficulty going to a gas station and get re, uh, refueling assistance. So we've been working with the state of Michigan and, uh, and the petroleum industry to come, trying to come up with solutions for uh, refueling assistance for people with disabilities. And what we have done is created a website called thepumpguide.com and we, on that, that website list over a thousand gas stations that are willing to provide refueling assistance at self-serve prices. So it's been a huge success. Currently we're working with Marathon Petroleum on uh, putting in, having all Marathon stations install a fuel call button. This button would allow someone like myself to be able to communicate with the gas station attendant and that would let them know that I need refueling assistance. This way I don't have to beep my horn or call on the telephone. So it's a dignified means of communicating with the gas station attendant. And uh, so we're starting to gain some momentum with the fuel call button. We have about 50 gas stations in the Detroit metropolitan area that have installed this device. And we're hoping to expand that to hopefully one day have a fuel call button in every community uh, throughout, uh, throughout Michigan. So that's, that's really our goal there.